This is a 48-year-old woman seeking treatment for spontaneous pain in the left upper jaw. The two premolars had deep interproximal caries. Following examination, diagnosis was irreversible pulpitis for both teeth. According to the guidelines by the International Endodontic Associations, when clinical diagnosis for mature teeth is irreversible pulpitis, the only treatment option is root canal treatment. In this case, an attempt to save vitality of part of the pulp was undertaken. Carious tissue excavation reveals pulp exposure. This tissue is partly avascular, indicating partial necrosis. Meticulous removal of soft tissue in the cavity floor is accomplished. Partial pulpotomy can now be performed. The pulp chamber roof is removed together with a superficial layer of the pulp tissue. Same procedure for the second premolar. Irrigation with 1% sodium hypochlorite. The pulp doesn't show optimal conditions. Successive layers of pulp tissue are progressively shaved off. Again, irrigation, hemostasis, until hemostasis is obtained and you get a clean, homogeneous, red, blood-filled pulp tissue surrounded by clean and sound dentin. The pulp wound can now be covered by a biocompatible material. Pre-mixed bioceramic materials are a good choice. The cavities are temporarily restored with a flowable composite to allow setting of the bioceramic material. After 24 hours, cavities are reaccessed and setting of the bioceramic confirmed. Because this is an experimental procedure and re-entering is scheduled in a three-month period, Build-up with composite materials was accomplished at this point, leaving an occlusal access cavity filled with IRM. A post-operative radiograph is taken and the patient instructed to report any discomfort in the successive period. The patient returned after three months, declaring that the teeth had been comfortable. Temporary IRM fillings were in place with minimal margin deterioration. The pulps responded weakly to a cold stimulus applied to the cervical area. Radiographs showed normal periapical conditions and absence of irregular calcifications in the root canal space. IRM was removed and the bioceramic exposed. Its hardness was checked and the material carefully removed with low-speed tiny bursts 
in the DG16 probe. This revealed a homogeneous layer of newly formed mineralized tissue, repairing the entire surface of the surgical wound and isolating the underlying pulp tissue. Gentle probing of this mineralized tissue confirmed its uniformity. The same procedure is followed for the second premolar, where identical responses were observed. The pulpotomy procedures had been successful for both teeth. The mineralized bridges are covered with a calcium hydroxide base and the access cavities restored with composite systems. Cast protection is recommended for these teeth. Follow-up radiographs taken after 6 and 14 months show normal periapical conditions and absence of pathologic calcifications in the canals. The situation is stable after 2 years. The clinical treatments shown in this video are based on the following publications.